another video. Today's ride, I'm here with Andy, who's new to London Dynamo. We're doing about 60, maybe 70k for me. Uh, we're doing a sort of extended water loop. Uh, and it's super sunny. You feeling alright? Yeah. Training me going well? Yeah, I'm already up to 191. <laughs> so pretty solid. We had a brutal headwind. Sam has pushed about 5 watts a kilo to be moving forward. Just the warm up, isn't it? Just the warm up. Just the warm up. Yeah. Right, so I've done 30k now. Andy's only done 15. It's only 14k out for me to Hampton Wick. It's quite nice to get a little bit more solo rather than just a regular 10k. It gets a little bit boring after a while. Yeah. Alright, so now we're in Chelsea. It's a pretty nice little village. I actually pumped up my tyres for once and lubed my chain, so my bike is feeling very, very smooth. Apologies to those of you who suffered this noise of my drive train on the stream on Wednesday. Chelsea's also basically BTEC Windsor. You see the castle over here, and then the shops, everything else just look the same. First and only climb of the day, thankfully. Getting quite steep. I think Stan has the care over this one. <laughs> Because my tires start graining and everything, and I have Lewis in front, so not good downforce. Smallest mistake is finished. Right, just seen that on the camera. Did a severe Rosberg just went straight on into the corner there. So, for any of you who've been watching for the last couple of months, this is roughly why I did my KOM attempt at Stan. We were racing Robin and Sonny who went out earlier that morning. If you'd like to see how it went, Card will be in the top right on that side. It's on 51k now. It's been a super nice, super chill ride with some harder bits. Doing a bit of a pace line earlier. Doing about 40k an hour. Going really fast. But now we're taking a bit more chill. And uh, the weather is so good, man. The weather! The weather! Yeah? The weather! Yeah? You're right, Neymar. Yeah, it's on your neck. No! One of the best rides for a while, for sure. Left hand here at Hampton Court roundabout. Been pretty rapid on the way back. Doing 37 and a half at the moment. Yeah, almost over. Also, let me know what you think of these time lapse segments. Did in the last video. Should look pretty cool. Back this weekend, back at Bahrain, Verstappen could be going in for the win, you know. It's FP3 in like half an hour's time, so I'm gonna be back just in time for that. And then, quality later today, the Red Bull rear wing's looking stable, Mercedes isn't. We'll have to see, gonna be an epic showdown. Right, it is the next day, we've got the Grand Prix in about four hours. Oh, by the way, please subscribe to my clips channel in the description below. I want to like 40 something subscribers. Uh, just some silly little videos taken from the main channel and put down there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. On the ride, it was about two and three quarter hours when we did 80 kilometers. Average speed of just under 30, which is a bit annoying because ideally without the traffic and stuff like that, we would have had that. Average power of 221 watts, which isn't too bad for just under three hours. And then I did a sprint up the Hogarth Bridge, which you would have just seen. And I picked it at 1,033. Normalized just under 250, so yeah, that's not too bad. TSS of 207.2. I think last time I said in a video it was I did uh, 184 in two hours. That may have been wrong because my FTP was set about 25 watts too low. Anyway, but 2,174 calories. This is the elevation chart. Uh, pretty flat overall with a couple of kickers. Nothing much to be honest. I spent most of the time in zone three, then with zone two uh, and zone four after that. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope this has been a good one. I've done a slightly different style of editing, put a few more memes and stuff like that in there. Please comment below if you do like that. Uh, actually, please do. I'd really like to know what you think. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next video.